finite square of 7, parentheses, x minus 3, parentheses, x cubed plus nx squared plus 3nx plus 27 equals 7x to the fourth minus 81. In the equation above, what is the value of n? There are multiple ways to do this one. The way I'm going to do it is by trying to get the right side to look like the left side. You could also get the left side to look like the right side. But because I know the right side is x to the fourth minus 81, and that's a difference of squares, I can do it like this. It's going to equal x squared minus 9, x squared plus 9. And then I'm going to factor the x squared minus 9. So I'm going to get x plus 3, x minus 3. And the important thing here is I see the relationship between x to the fourth minus 81 and x minus 3. If I didn't see that, I would foil this out and work from there to find it. But this way is easier if you can see it. And if not, it's not too bad just multiplying out and seeing how the ends work. And I'm still going to have to do that kind of here anyway. So you'll see what I mean. x plus 3, x minus 3 times x squared plus 9. The sevens don't matter because they both have sevens. So forget about the sevens. So we're going to do, we have x minus 3 and x minus 3. So now we can cancel out the x minus 3s. So we have x cubed plus nx squared plus 3nx plus 27. equals x plus 3 times x squared plus 9. And I'm going to have to do what I was going to do before anyway with x minus 3 multiplying by 4 numbers, but now I just have to multiply by foiling here. So I'm going to get, on the left, x cubed plus nx squared plus 3nx, sorry, plus 3nx plus 27 equals x cubed plus, I'm just foiling now, 9x plus 3x squared plus 27. x cubes cancel, 27s cancel. So then you're left with nx squared plus 3nx equals 9x plus 3x squared. So what number does n have to be? The x's, so we could just say 3nx equals 9x and n equals 3.